Want to know what a real man would tell their lady about love and life? You're in the right place. This is Hello Ladies with Rom Wills. Rom Wills is a speaker and author of several books on relationships. Grab some wine, sit back, and enjoy. Hello, ladies. Welcome to my spot. Ladies, men do pay attention to your bad habits. And I want to be clear about that because, you know, one thing I've noticed, sometimes women uh, think superficially. Sometimes women think superficially, like they presenting, you know, they, you, you know, you present that physical stuff because, you know, men are definitely, we have no problem saying we checking out you out physically. You know, so you got your hair did, you know, got that nice makeup on. Your teeth are like hooked up. You got nice breasts. Big old butt dunk. You know, everything looking good on the surface. You dress well and everything. Now, some men, yeah, some men, of course, some men will just see all of that and they want to get with you. You know, they willing to spit that game at you or hope you find them sexually attractive or straight up trick on you. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. I can understand that. But, but, the smarter men out there, the better men out there, the more quality men, you know, yeah, you look good to them, but, you know, since they are, you know, got something going on, they got quite a few actually attractive women uh, paying attention to them. So that means they can get past your looks. They can appreciate it. They can think you fine. Shoot, you, you can have them at full attention. But if they the type of guy who has some options, they can go past that. And so they're going to look at you deeper. And one of the deep things they're going to look at is your bad habits. They're going to pay attention to them. Even when you're going out with this man, you might be dating him for a little while. Y'all going out, y'all having a good time. Y'all having y'all little parties, knocking boots somewhere. But he will slowly pay attention to all the little things you do, all the bad things that you do. He's going to pay attention. Just like y'all pay attention to a man. Y'all know y'all do that. Y'all know y'all do that. Because y'all, y'all, shoot. Y'all, y'all, y'all just put that in y'all little Rolodex. Yeah, he said this to that. All right, I'm going to write that down. Or put it in your mental file. Men do the same things as smart men. See, remember on this channel, everything I'm telling you, I'm telling you from the perspective of the better men. Now, if you just want to deal with some bum or, you know, some, you know, just some trifling dude or some dude ain't really doing anything, shoot, you don't need to listen to me. Just go ahead and deal with it. He'll follow along. He'll walk five steps behind you. He'll let you do whatever you want to do. He'll tell you what you want to hear. But if you try to deal with quality men, you know, of course, listen to me. And, of course, the quality men are going to pay attention to it because he's thinking beyond the bedroom. See, that's an important piece. That's an important piece. If the man thinking about you on a relationship basis, he don't just want to walk around holding your hand, showing you off to people. No, he, he thinking about other stuff and he's going to be looking at other stuff. And even when, if, even if y'all have great sex, he's still going to be thinking about other stuff. Because like I said, he even if he's a type who's going to be monogamous, you know, there's still some other men trying to get out of him. Because ladies, y'all know how y'all do. If the man look good, got something going on, y'all going for him. So he's going to pay attention to your habits. Now, whether or not you consider him bad too, that's on you. And how he, like, uh, categorizes habits, that's really depending on his value system, what he considers important. So he's going to sit back and he's going to say, oh, okay, she, uh, you know, she wasn't courteous to the waitress. Okay. Mm -hmm. Or she, you know what, I'm doing all this stuff for her, but she don't seem quick to want to, like, do some extra stuff for me. Hmm, Okay. Or she spends a little bit too much money doing this. Or she spends a little bit too much time when she should be chilling with me, paying, you know, she on the phone or something or checking through her phone. Oh, we paying attention to that, you know, and especially how much time you actually spending with us. How much time? Are we a priority? It seems like we're a priority to you. And we'd be, we'd be sitting back like, hmm. What's going on with that? See, we're making our notes, too. 
we make it out of notes too. Now, ladies, y'all might not hear about it, but understand something, you know. I've been coaching and hearing and observing this for decades. And like I said, I've seen the two types. Now, if y'all dealing with some knuckleheads or something, they just happen to be with you because you're fine. Okay, yeah, you, you can do whatever. They, they'll ignore a lot. They will put up with a lot. I said that in a previous podcast. They, men will put up with a whole lot, most men. But the type of guys y'all want, oh, no, no, no. He, he's paying attention to it. He, he's paying attention to every little thing. That's if he even finds you physically attractive because, like I said, he got options. So that's one of the things. That's one of the things. Yeah, you look good, but pay attention to your habits. Think, pay attention to those things you do because that could be the often the thing that's breaking y'all up. You know, because I've seen a lot of women do some stuff and they'll just say, well, I'm a woman. I can do whatever I want. He gonna have, He just got to put up with it like ladies. Like, y'all know y'all got some bad stuff. Know it. Know it knowing this habit isn't good for growth or anything like that. But I've seen so many women say, well, this is how I am. This is what I do. I'm going to do it. Or another bad habit. And I actually had this happen with me. I ain't going to call the woman's names. But, you know, she, she wasn't totally open about some stuff that was on her mind. And to me, that was a bad habit. That that was a bad habit because I, my thing was I'd rather deal with whatever's on your mind, even if it's something that could uh, be detrimental to whatever this relationship is, than not know it. You know, but that was a bad habit trying to hide stuff because the thing is, a man picks up on you trying to hide stuff. That's a bad habit because if he's sitting, he he's going to start the. Because see, here's one thing, ladies, y'all don't realize it because y'all ain't around us enough, but. We will get with our boys and stuff, and we will go over that situation. We'll talk to somebody. There's somebody we're going to talk to, and we're going to be like, okay, she doing this, this, and that. What's up? Like, even now, I get a lot of dudes hit me up quickly and privately. Okay, Rom, she did this. What's going on? What's going on? So we paying attention to it. We paying a lot of attention. And a lot of times what a woman has to do, a woman has to do is say, okay, this has been happening. This has been a problem. How can I deal with it? Because no, no, look, if you have this and it's affecting your relationships, it's prevent because just because that guy might bring it up to you, it might have been a problem and some other stuff. It means you change it. And just real quick, I know some women get on. Well, what about the men? Just the women's channel. I'll talk to them about this stuff over there. But, you know, you got to you got to think in terms of, OK, can I change this? I'm going to need to change this. This ain't something I need to keep. See, a lot of women get that bad stuff and say, well, this is just who I am. You got to deal with it. And they say, no, we don't. <laughs> no, he don't. Now, I know y'all used to deal with those bum dudes who would deal with it. But the quality man say, no, no, I don't. Because it's not good. It's not conducive to the relationship. And he's, I mean, you know, honestly, he the same way, too. But. A smart man, a quality man, is always looking to grow. Because remember, and see, that's been the biggest issue out here just with relationships. And not just a racial thing in one community, but overall. A lot of times, no matter what the women's doing, oh, it's okay. And yeah, and you no responsibility, accountability. But men, we should, we got to take responsibility for it. And ladies, you know, we, we seen those bad habits, and that'll be the thing we'll kick you to the curb for. Now, some men might be nice about it, try to talk you through it, and try to say, hold up, this it. But some men, they, especially if they got options, they, they'll they give you, like, some minor thing, well, what looked to be minor, and then just roll out. So the thing is, you probably know what the issues are. It's probably been brought up to you. Work on them every day. Work on them. You know, focus on being your best self if they're a bad habit, you know. And like I say, this is something, you know, I'll talk to the men about it, too, at some point. Well, I've actually been saying a lot. But you got to deal with it, all right? You got to deal with it. So, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> you know, I was just thinking about something. I was, I was just thinking about something. But, yeah. They pay attention to those bad habits. Address them. Address them if you really want to go forward and everything, Okay. So anyway, y'all, I'll talk with y'all later. Peace and many blessings.